What's up guys and welcome back to another video where today we're installing LEDs in our truck. Alright, before we get this video started I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor for this video, Oxbeam. Uh, they were cool enough to send me out our LEDs here so we're going to go ahead and install them and we're going to compare them to what we currently have, our halogen bulbs, and see if it really makes a difference. Honestly, this is my first time trying LEDs, so I'm going to give my unbiased opinion. So I'm really going to show you guys how much more difficult or how much easier it is to install these versus HIDs. And I'll see how good the quality of the light is and how much brighter it really is. So I've heard good things about them, but i got to give it a shot for myself. And I'll let you guys know so you guys can hit them up. All right, let's send a pretty cool sticker here. Might be the instructions in here. We'll read those. Wow. First of all, they come pretty well packaged in here. These are pretty tight. I love the color on these. And I mean. Honestly, compared to HIDs, are, these are a lot more rugged. They feel like they're a lot more... Um, they feel like they're going to last a lot longer than HIDs. I don't know if you guys had HIDs. They're a little flimsier. And um, looks like they're just pretty much plug and play. I know they have a little fan here to cool them down, which I love. Because if any of you have had HIDs, if you guys get a cheap kit, it, it can burn down your, uh, your housing. So... I know I had that in my other truck happen on the fog lights. It burned my housing down, so that's pretty neat. We'll see how cool these actually are. And I'm assuming this is the ballast. Again, I've never installed LEDs. But I know HIDs come with a little ballast. I guess this is it. Yeah, there's two. So initial thoughts, I do love how the ballast is very small. I'll show you guys um, the HID ones. They're pretty huge and you gotta find a place to mount them. These, I mean, probably zip tie them somewhere or just leave them loose, I'm pretty sure. And, and I do like that they have this waterproof connector here. Look at that. So initial thoughts, um, pretty high quality stuff, but I think the, the thing I care about most is to make sure that they're nice and bright. So I'm going to show you guys how to install these in your truck. There's just a few 10 millimeter bolts on the top here and then clips on the back. The grill gets removed and then each headlight has one, two, I think it's just three bolts. Two here and then I don't know if you guys can see, there's one in here. So total of about three bolts and then we'll remove it and I'll show you guys how to actually install this. So again, we have um, halogen right now. If you guys remember my other video, I took the HIDs out and put the halogen ones because it would not pass inspection with the HIDs. The, um, here in California, they're illegal. Unless your car comes with it from the factory, otherwise they're illegal. So I had to change those out. I am gonna be just doing the low beam and high beam. Remember, we don't have the fog lights yet. So once we start, changing these and go over to the fog light ones then we can try those out too and um, pretty much it so let me set up a time lapse of removing this whole front end all right guys so I took the headlight out do you guys remember this is where I put the HID ballast put a, a sheet metal screw there so you can see the difference already the size of this ballast compared to the LED one plus this has a bunch of wiring here no dis on HIDs this actually has a waterproof seal too so they're pretty good um, but I'm going to be taking this off and getting rid of most of this mess right here. Alright guys, this should be plug and play. So I'm going to remove this top bulb here by twisting it. There we go. So this is a stock bulb here. I'm going to unclip it from here too. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our new LED one in there. All right, so here's our LED one. Has the name brand up there, Oxbeam. So we're just gonna insert it in the same housing area. 
Once it clicks in, we're just going to turn it, lock it in place. Same as a, as a stock bulb. So that's already in place. You can, you can see it in there. That looks really cool. Look at that. I really like that color. So it's locked into place. So now I'm gonna connect this with the ballast. All right, so I finished plugging it in. It's literally this little plug here. And then this plugs into the OEM harness right here. And then this is the ballast. It's really, really small. So I can either leave it like this or just zip tie it so it doesn't move around, but let's go ahead and turn on the lights inside. See how it looks. All right, there we have it. Look at that. Just for comparison, this is the OEM one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the high beams now and then we'll button all this up and then I'll take some comparison shots with it all installed. There you go, high beams all installed right here. Damn, that looks bright. And here's a stock side. Plus it has that ugly yellowish color, you know? These are nice and bright LEDs. <laughs> Look at that. Big shout out to Oxbeam for sending me these. Those are really, really nice. And you can tell they're high quality. Look at these things. You can see right here the little fans going on. That way it cools it down. Look at that. So I'm probably just gonna zip tie these out of the way. And reinstall this headlight and then I'll show you how it looks compared to the other one. All right guys, that's the difference right there. Stock versus the LEDs right there. There you have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the LEDs on this side and I'm going to wait till it's nighttime and show you guys another video uh, exactly how I reviewed the stock ones but now with the LEDs. I love how they're bright white. Don't, don't look like the ugly. It doesn't look all ugly with that yellow light. Alright guys, there's the final look of it wait till the truck is all wrapped and you guys will be able to see the lights pop a lot more but even as it sits man that thing looks sick look at that clearly see the LED down here All right, I'm gonna put some nice shots in here just to compare the new LEDs to the stock bulbs all right guys this is the exact same street these are the low beams right here Put the comparison here what the difference is so if you guys remember this house it's the same one right here they're significantly brighter here's the difference of that playground now you can see all the way deep down in there all right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Special thanks to Oxping for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out their stuff, I'm going to leave a link to their website on the description below. Make sure you guys use that coupon code to receive 15% off. Once we get the fog lights done, we're going to go ahead and install some LEDs in the fog lights too. Who knows, maybe we'll do LEDs all around the whole truck. Check out their stuff. They have LED light bars. They have underglow lights. They have headlights. They got 
all sorts of LEDs, so make sure you guys check out all of their stuff, and make sure you use a coupon code to get 15% off. Thank you so much, Oxbeam, again, for sending me these out. That's about it. Thank you guys for joining me. We'll see you next time.